Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, guys? Uh, this is Raymond Johnstone here, checking in. Uh, yeah, it's been a minute. Uh, I won't bore you with the excuses, because, frankly, uh, first of all, it doesn't matter if you don't care, but more importantly, I don't care what my excuses are. Anyways, um, so I was, I was thinking today, uh, well, this morning, pretty early, like, uh, eight in the morning, um, actually, it's not that, it's not that early, but anyways, I was thinking today about, um, this, like, concept within economies, uh, referred to as the trickle-down effect, and so the trickle-down effect is, like, this supposed, uh, effect in economy that occurs when you kind of infuse money from, um, the top, and the idea is that the money kind of naturally, excuse me, gravitates downwards and, you know, ends up in an equal distribution. Um, a lot like, uh, I don't, I don't remember the name of the, but there's, there's, there's a board that you can, you can, um, set up and basically you, you drop marbles down this board and it has an equal, like there's a bunch of pegs in, in a triangle format a, along the board, uh, going downwards. And as you drop enough, um, marbles down the board, the, the pegs are set up in, in exactly, uh, the midway position in each one of, uh, from each one of the points that they, that, that the marble would drop down from the previous level. So it, it ends up in like, a, an even, um, distribution well, not an even distribution, but like a, a curved even distribution down on the bottom of the of the plane. So, um, that is sort of like a, a visual representation of this trickle down effect that that economists say happens within economy. However, is studying um, economies at scale you actually quickly find that the trickle down effect isn't useful for distribution of currency. Uh, and we can say, see this in our day to day lives with the fact that um, corporations are the richest uh, legal entities on the planet, uh, not governments, not, not individuals, certainly, but but corporations. So if the trickle down effect uh, functioned properly, then then individuals would 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 have the most wealth, but that's not the case. So it occurred it, it, it like while thinking about this, it occurred to me that the well, actually, this part of it has occurred to me like for quite a while, and I've gone on this rant about like this concept of uh, a legal entity referring to a corporation um, that has all of the bonuses of being, uh, an individual and being a legal entity and, you know, being able to own property and being able to sell goods and being able to buy goods and all of this. But then, so, so it ha has all of the, uh, positives of being a legal entity and none of the negatives of being a legal, legal entity, because as an individual myself being a legal entity, if I go and start being an, a bad actor, um, and let's say I go and kill somebody, then they're going to put me in jail, right? Or let's say I go and, I don't know, run, run like a, a crowdfunding campaign and, and say that I'm going to like develop this like crazy new pharmaceutical that's going to cure aging, but then like I just go and take all the money and use it to buy an island. Nobody's ever going to um, give money to a crowdsourcing campaign that I run again, because I'll have ruined my reputation. So those, um, so, some of those things do affect and can affect corporations, but not all of them. Um, so in my mind, uh, a corporation has like all of the benefits of, of being a legal entity and not all of the benefits of being Actually, it even has more um, benefits than than a, just an individual like myself, because a corporation can actually live forever, because it's really just like a set of you know documents and and like a number that identifies its 
it as an asset holder and so on and so forth. So I can't I can't live forever. Eventually I'm going to die right now as as we know it anyways. Maybe we'll fix that problem eventually, but maybe we won't. So along those lines, it occurred to me that one of the reasons that uh, corporations are not really okay with me is because it's it, they are incentivized to gather up currency, right? Like they're a black hole for in in, in for um, income. Like if a corporation um, is making money, then it's successful, and that's. That's the primary goal for the most part within them is to, you know, like sell the product, uh, figure out a way to make their product at like the most efficient uh, uh, amount possible and then sell it for as much as possible. Right. So like they're just like a black hole for value, essentially. Now, um, the other interesting thing about them is that they can kind of change their their trajectory over whatever period of time. So like, let's say, uh, you know, a corporation started off by selling uh, horse, um, uh, horse pulled carts, for example. Uh, but then, you know, the car, car manufacturers came along. Well, like that corporation doesn't necessarily go out of business, it might just figure out how to start making cars and continue and and sell cars and then like let's say you know something better came along after cars and 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 they start like not making money as a result of it well like there's nothing that prevents a corporation from pivoting once again at that point in time and changing its trajectory to uh, to whatever that new thing is so that they can you know they, they, they can rewrite their own rules at any point in time. So it's a self-adjusting system as well, right? Now, what's really interesting about this is that while thinking about the fact that they're able to pivot and able to change their proposed goal um, and, and all of that, I realized that a simple solution to that would be to allow corporations to exist, allow these legal entities to exist, but tell them that on their inception, like when they are created, they have to establish a single, very specific, very um, f focused goal. And what's interesting about that is that's a smart contract. Now, on Ethereum and on Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin doesn't have true smart contracts yet. Maybe it will on a side chain someday. But on Ethereum, when you define a contract, a smart contract on Ethereum, and then you deploy it to the blockchain, the blockchain is forever. That data that you deployed to the blockchain is the data that is duplicated on all of the miners systems across the planet It's duplicated whatever amount of times it is going to stay um it's not going anywhere so once you've deployed that contract it's done like you've already proposed that uh like legal entity as it stands and you know, assuming that your smart contract is succinct, then, and, and operates correctly, of course, then it will continue to operate as you originally proposed it for the foreseeable future. So if you want to go and adjust and, you, you know, you want to do that pivoting thing that I was talking about, like startups do a lot of, have to be able to pivot very well. Uh, but, but if you want to be able to pivot, like corporations can pivot you're going to have to deploy a new smart contract. You've essentially just deployed a new legal entity at that point in time. Like if you're making income um, to the first contract that you created, I mean, I suppose you could direct the income from the new contract that you create to the same address that the old contract that you created. But what, like, the fact is that legally, those are two completely separate constructs well not even legally the intellectually they're 
they are two completely separate constructs. One may be an adjustment from the other. That's besides the point. Um, anyways, so so it seems to me that that may actually be a solution to um, you know these corporations being black holes for value, because like it's expensive to deploy a smart contract extremely and it's also expensive to deploy uh, a new corporation um so it would make sense for somebody that's you know proposing a smart contract um to not have to do it a whole bunch of times right uh as a matter of fact it makes the most sense for them to do it once and then hopefully the goal that they were aiming at is completed and yeah hopefully it does gain the value that it's supposed to gain but it doesn't just continue to gain value after that and turn into this like you know center of the universe black hole that just sucks all of the value out of the entire economy forever right anyways it was a thought that occurred to me and i kind of felt the need to drop it here so hopefully it made sense uh, this is Raymond Johnstone, Cloth Ab Avatar, John Store, Tadashi, uh, on the comments decrypted. Peace.